I promise I will not eat any more of your friends. Really? You wanted more untold truths of M&M's candy? So here you go. It's time to dig deeper into the little chocolate candy that melts in your mouth and not in your hands. The Super Bowl commercials are back. Start worrying about the game today, okay? The Super Bowl is probably the biggest sports event in America. Sure, watching the game is fun, but a lot of people have admitted to watching it just to see the funny commercials that run during the game. After being in the Super Bowl ad biz for years now, M&M's definitely knows a thing or two about witty and fun commercials. And they brought exactly that to this year's Super Bowl. After a year like the one we just had, the return of the M&M's gang was welcome news. Mars Wrigley sat M&M's out for the big game in 2020 in favor of its Snickers brand, but now it's their time to shine again. It's Brucey's time to shine, baby. After a dismal year, M&M's said they only want to make people smile and help them find ways to better connect with each other. Their return to the Super Bowl stage featured everyone's favorite spokes candies, who always promote the brand using iconic humor and colorful fun. This new commercial is the brand's sixth Super Bowl ad in the past decade. Let's hope the trend continues. The trend of the future. The classic M stamp. I'd like to see your most expensive stamp. Have you ever wondered why M&M's have an M stamped on every single piece of candy? You'd think that the name on the bag would be enough of a hint, but there's actually a very valid and particular reason why it's there. If you've ever been to the UK, Canada, Germany, and Australia, then you might be familiar with another candy-coated chocolate, Smarties. No, not the pill-looking candies seen at Halloween. These Smarties are made by Nestle and have been around since 1937, a few years before M&M's hit the candy scene. You ate the new Spokes candy? Not all of them. Just like many other candy chocolate confections, the resemblance between the two was uncanny. They were both round, disc-shaped, and came in bright, bold colors. You can see where people might have had trouble distinguishing the two, and M&M's didn't want any confusion between their product and the other candy. They wanted to come up with a way to easily differentiate their chocolate, so each M&M began receiving an M stamped on it in 1950. The slogan at the time was even, look for the M on every piece. And I'm hearing voices. M&M's went to space. We're going on a space adventure. There are not a lot of brands that can say they've been to space, and there are even fewer candy brands that can say that. M&M's, however, has been able to brag about it since 1981. Not only did they go to space, but they were actually the first candy to be chosen to go. Obviously, they've got the right stuff. M&M's were chosen by the first space shuttle astronauts to be included as part of their precious food supply. If that's not a flex, then what is, really? Are you flexing? What? Me? <laughs> no. And not surprisingly, their strong presence in outer space has yet to wane. Indeed, M&Ms are still a pretty common part of NASA's space programs, mostly because they're easy to pack and, well, delicious, of course. But there's another reason why astronauts like having these little coated candies around – pure entertainment. Apparently, there's a game involving M&Ms that astronauts invented to keep themselves occupied. You release a handful of M&Ms and let them float around, and the goal is to catch as as many as you can using only your mouth. While there aren't too many ways to entertain yourself in space, with M&Ms along for the ride, you surely won't get bored. And there are no boring things, just boring people. M&Ms coffee? Can we have coffee here? There's always been that debate surrounding coffee about what you're allowed to put in it. A lot of people believe that if you put anything in your coffee, even just a little sugar, then you're not a true coffee enthusiast. Sure, some people go to extremes and add sugars, flavorings, creams, and froths to their coffees, but who cares? Everyone is allowed their very own personalized order. I I'm brand new to coffee, so I don't want too much. A popular trend that's been making a comeback during the pandemic is the use of different creamers, especially Coffee Mate. Coffee Mate is known for making some seriously delicious and sweet coffee creamers, and the latest release is bound to make black coffee drinkers shudder at the thought. A Coffee Mate M&M's Milk Chocolate Creamer. Said to be a decadent coffee meets chocolate experience, this creamer is the perfect way to turn your coffee into candy. It is also perfect for anyone who's obsessed with the classic M&M's taste, but doesn't want to be seen eating a handful in the morning. This coffee creamer wasn't the only new thing M&M 
Prime came out with in the past year. The brand also released a new flavor combining two movie night staples, M&M's popcorn. This way, you can start your day with M&M and end it in the same way. Get in the ball. You get in the ball. It's part of the quarantine culture. I just feel stuck, Doc. With the pandemic forcing us to be inside almost all of the time, a lot of activities and events have been dropped. There's no longer a reason to get dressed up in your most dazzling outfit these days. It's all about indoor wear and slippers. Fashion has taken quite a hit this past year, and quarantine culture is the new fashion trend. Champion, a sports-focused fashion brand, is used to collaborating with a lot of other brands to create fun and nostalgic athletic wear like hoodies, sweatshirts, and joggers. Sweatpants are all that fits me right now. Over the years, they've partnered up with Sesame Street and General Mills, and now it's M&M's turn. Basically, since M&M's are one of the few brands that has cemented a worldwide legacy, of course they would be the perfect candidate for their own line of footwear. The Champion X M&M slides and fuzzy slippers are perfectly suited for kicking back at home and will surely put you in a better mood. Both items are available in black, gray, red, blue, orange, and yellow, with each color made to reflect your individual personality. For instance, red is described as smart and outgoing, while blue is the one for those up on the latest trends. So if you want to take your pajama fashion game up a notch, then go and get your hands on a pair of these M&M slippers or slides before they all sell out. Come on, this looks good. Gluten-free M&Ms. I'm on this cleanse. You're, you're on a what? There aren't that many candy options that are gluten-free. You probably spend more time wondering if the chocolate bar you're about to eat contains gluten or not, and more often than not, it does. While it can be hard to find the perfect candy with this dietary restriction, if you're a fan of chocolate, look no more, because M&Ms are here to save the day. At least, most of them. It might come as a surprise, since M&Ms don't usually advertise or label its products as gluten-free, but a handful of these delicious delicious chocolatey treats are perfectly safe for people living with dietary gluten restrictions. I never got into diet. In September 2019, Nima, a company making gluten sensors, tested 12 flavors of M&Ms, and only two flavors tested positive for gluten, pretzel M&Ms and crispy M&Ms. All the other ones were free of gluten and can be eaten by just about anybody. The safe ones include the classic milk chocolate M&Ms, the beloved peanut M&Ms, and the delicious peanut butter M&Ms. It's important to note, however, that ingredients and product formulations can change, so the most important part when eating M&M's is to always read the label carefully. While it's not clearly written if the product is gluten-free or not, Mars Inc. did say that they include any gluten-containing ingredients on their labels. Check the label, mommies! Check the label, mommies! M&M's New World Store. They call this the New World. If you're in New York City, Las Vegas, London, Berlin, or even Shanghai, chances are you have set foot in an M&M store at some point. With colorful displays of various treats, merchandise, and accessories, it's almost impossible to resist buying something before leaving the store. And now you'll be able to enjoy all the same benefits by visiting Disney Springs starting this year. The construction had already begun a year prior, but because of the pandemic, the project was put on ice. However, now it is back Back on track, and people cannot wait to see the final product. I can't wait to see the final product. This new and improved location is meant to replace the one in the Florida Mall, which was the second M&M's World store to open. The promised state-of-the-art store already has its bright yellow facade, accompanied by a giant red M&M's logo on the side. The Disney Springs outlet will feature the signature colorful chocolate wall with more than 100 tubes of M&M's, photo ops with the lovable M&M's characters, as well well as dance parties. Also, in honor of the occasion, M&M's will release a brand new and exclusive line of unique Mickey and Minnie Mouse M&M designs and packaging. While no official opening date has been announced just yet, the construction seems to be going smoothly enough for us to hope that the store will come to life and open very soon. I can't wait. New lines of mixed bags. Ooh, look, look, look at all the candy! 
With so many different choices when it comes to color, flavor, and size, it can be hard to pick your all-time favorite M&M. Just when you think you've found the one, a new release swoops in and steals the show. If you're lucky enough to visit an M&M store frequently, then this problem doesn't really affect you. You can create your very own personalized bag of colorful goodies with as many flavors as you want. You don't need to pick a favorite, you can have them all. Finally, we have them all. This type of customization is exactly what was missing from regular store shelves. Why couldn't there be more than one M&M's flavor in a single bag? M&M's finally caught on and is releasing one of their best creations yet, the M&M's Mix. Available in two varieties, Classic and Peanut, this candy mix will offer a complete sweet experience with the best combination of both flavors and textures. The Classic variety includes three traditional M&M's flavors, milk chocolate, milk chocolate peanut, and peanut butter. For those who prefer a little crunch with their M&M's, the Peanut mix includes the original milk chocolate peanut, the white chocolate peanut, and the dark chocolate peanut. These new mixed bags are something that many candy fans have longed to enjoy, and snack time will be officially changed forever. Keep an eye out as this ingenious novelty will be hitting the shelves in April 2021. You need to keep both eyes open. There's a lawsuit going on. I'll see you in court. While M&Ms are all about color, fun, and cherished moments, they also come with a fair share of secrets and drama. Back in 2018, a woman from Pennsylvania was putting groceries away after going shopping at Wegmans Market. She had bought a bag of M&Ms and was snacking on some while emptying the rest of her bags. Almost immediately, she noticed a very strange and foul taste and said the M&Ms tasted like candy-coated feces. Yummy! She spat them up in her hands and brushed her teeth to get rid of the horrible apple aftertaste without any luck. I can't help it! My body's rejecting it! She then contacted Wegmans to alert them so the candy could be taken off the shelves. After the event, she was mailed a $5 coupon for M&Ms by Mars Inc. with no other explanation. They didn't even bother to request the specific package to be submitted for testing. The woman became sickened after ingesting the M&Ms, and so, at her own expense, she had the M&Ms analyzed at a laboratory. The results were a bit concerning, to say the least. It showed that the M&Ms contained syncephalostrum, a type of mold mainly found in soil in tropical and subtropical regions of the world, which can cause respiratory infections. The three-count suit alleges strict liability, breach of implied warranty, and breach of implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose. The woman is seeking $50,000 on each count. And the truth shall set you free! There are some crazy flavors. Just like a flavor explosion, yo! Everyone is familiar with the classic varieties of M&M's. You've got your run-of-the-mill milk chocolate, peanut, and even pretzel. These are the most basic and commonly found. However, besides all of those standard bags of chocolate delights, there are some pretty weird and somewhat obscure flavors that most people don't even know exist. M&M's likes to come out with a lot of seasonal and limited edition flavors, so there's bound to be some less famous ones released along the way. Is this so I'll look fab in all my photos? Recent additions that have yet to become the new normal are the jalapeno peanut M&Ms, a combination of sweet and spicy made with roasted peanuts and jalapeno-flavored milk chocolate. There are also English toffee peanut M&Ms, in which the name kind of speaks for itself, and Thai coconut peanut M&Ms made with coconut-flavored milk chocolate. As for the seasonal offerings, for Easter of 2021, M&M is going to be releasing a new flavor that might just become a new favorite, key lime pie. Coated in the pastel shades of cream and green traditionally associated with the dessert and filled with creamy white chocolate, these festive new treats sound pretty promising. For the Christmas season, the white chocolate sugar cookie M&Ms are basically a holiday in a handful. The crispy center is surrounded by a white chocolate sugar cookie flavored shell and comes in colors resembling classic holiday sprinkled sugar cookies. Other memorable mentions of crazy flavors that you might not know of are the mint, the orange vanilla, and the popcorn M&Ms. Wow, look at all these flavors! If you could bring only one candy to space, what would it be? Let us know in the comments below. And for more sweet videos, just tap or click. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.